Hey folks, Dan here. Today we're taking a look at a camera holster. This is the Top Loader from Shimoda Designs. And Shimoda's brand is all about outdoor photography, so it's no surprise that this is built to withstand the elements. We've got PU coated nylon all over this. It's the same material that they make their backpacks out of, so if you've seen one of those, the Explore series or the Action X series, this will be a great match for one of those. Um, so yeah, it's very water resistant. It's not waterproof. It's worth noting that the zippers on here are not AquaGuard zippers or water resistant. They're just standard zippers. So you might still want to give this a bit of shelter in some torrential downpours. Okay, uh, let's look around the features of this bag and then I'll talk about how you can carry it. So on the front here, we have a small zippered pocket. This is big enough for a couple of batteries, maybe a memory card wallet. It'll also fit uh, a filter if it's in a plastic case, probably up to about an 82 mil filter will fit in there. Um, pretty simple, practical design for the front pocket there. Let's open up the top section of this bag, just a zipper around the whole thing. Very well padded though. So I, I've used a few different holsters and this is probably the thickest padding. So um, I use this quite a lot and I feel my camera is very well protected in it. Uh, whether I'm carrying it on its shoulder strap, whether it's strapped to my backpack or whether I just throw this whole thing into a non-photography backpack. Sometimes I'll do that if I'm out hiking um, and it's not really a work day, it's more just sort of a family day, but I want to carry a camera with me. I'll just throw this into my regular hiking pack and I feel it's very well protected. It's got thick sides and there's a decent amount of rigidity to the whole thing. So looking down inside, uh, we can see there's no pocket on the lid as there are with some. Uh, we've got sort of a softer material here, which is good if you want to put um, your LCD screen up against that so it sort of keeps a little bit better protected. Uh, it comes with one divider. I've got the pop it out like that. So we've got this one in here. Uh, I generally don't bother using this. I just kind of tuck it up on the side for a bit of extra padding there. But if you wanted to divide this in two for, for some reason, maybe just have the camera body on one side and a couple of lenses stacked up on the other side, that's possible. So you get one divider with this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Then there are um, padded flaps at the bottom here and we'll see why that is when we flip over to the bottom on this side. Okay, so we have a zipper here. Now, uh, actually before I do that, I should say this is sized really for a mirrorless camera. Um, you can fit a DSLR in there. It gets a little bit tighter. This is definitely built with mirrorless in mind. And in this regular mode, then you can fit a decent sized prime lens on there. It's a 24 to 70 2.8 with the hood reversed. Um, I've got a Sony A1 here with the 35 GM. If I pop that in there, you can see that's a perfect fit. So this is really uh, designed for a mirrorless camera. That's who I would recommend it for. Now, if you wanted to use a 24 to 70 with the hood attached, or if you wanted to put a larger lens like a 70 to 200, we have the zipper on the bottom. We can fold this out and basically we get a little bit of extra push from the inside that's easier we get a bit of extra depth in there so now you can have a mirrorless camera with a 70 to 200 or you can have a smaller lens like the 24 to 70 28 but leave the lens hood on it while you're using it so we got this expandable design um, when you have it expanded like this there's not as much padding in the bottom as there is elsewhere on the bag so that's something to keep in mind if you were perhaps putting this down on the ground you do have a little bit more exposure in there, but there is, it's kind of hard to see. You see that little flap at the bottom there? When you've extended this, what you want to do is make sure you push that flap down. That becomes the new base of the bag. And that does give you back a little bit of the padding in the base there. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this away for now. Um, that's very useful to have. I personally don't walk around with a 70 to 200 uh, on my belt or strapped to my bag very often, but I'm sure some people would want that. I prefer to use it in this smaller mode though. Okay, so what else have we got to talk about? Um, now I guess we'll talk about the ways to carry this bag. So the first way is with the included shoulder strap. So this comes with a lightly padded shoulder strap. Uh, it's got non-slip material on the bottom here, kind of grippy rubber stuff. So if it's on your shoulder, it doesn't fall off. And then we've just got two clips here. So these clip, zipper the bag up, these clip onto these D-rings. We have four D-rings on the back here. Uh, that gives you a few extra options for carrying things. You can kind of make up your own system with straps that you might already have, but we're gonna hold, to start with, hold the bag with the shoulder strap. Now, one of the things that I don't like about this bag is the way the shoulder strap works. 
because it's clipped onto the D-rings on the back here, uh, I'm going to put the photos up on screen because it's a little easier to see, but when it's clipped on the D-rings like this, if you have it on one shoulder, you can see that it kind of hangs slanted. Now if you put the strap across your body, then it hangs a little closer to you and kind of hugs your waist, which is a much better way to carry it, but you know, I personally don't like having a strap across my front like that. I prefer to just have it on one shoulder. So the shoulder carry is okay with this, but it's not the best. I would have preferred to see the D-rings mounted here in the middle, and then with the shoulder strap, then this would have just carried vertically. It would have sat a little bit nicer if you're just carrying it on one shoulder. But the strap is nice. It's a good strap, just the right amount of padding, so it's not too big, uh, but maintains a nice kind of packable size. It's small enough that you can stuff it inside the bag if you are strapping this to the outside of your backpack, but think you might want the shoulder strap at a later point in the day. So shoulder strap is the first way that you can carry this. Let's take a look at the other ways. Okay, you've seen the shoulder strap carrying method. Now we're gonna talk about two other ways that you can carry the top loader. So the first is by purchasing a pair of Shimoda accessory straps. These are 10 bucks for a pair of these. And basically what you do here is you take your Shimoda backpack. Now, a lot of other backpacks do have these loops on them as well, but this is primarily designed for the Shimoda one. So I can't say for certain if your backpack will work unless you have a Shimoda bag, in which case it definitely will work. So you'll take one of these loops, you take this little strappy thing here, slide it through the loop like so, and then close this little spring clip like that. So now this strap is securely attached to your backpack shoulder strap. Now you take a second one. Let's do the same thing here real quick. And then with these two straps, you can then take your top loader and you'll see on the top loader, just above these two D-rings here, there are two horizontal nylon tabs there, which you can pass these through. So we'll take one of these. I'm not gonna clip them up right now because for the purposes of this demonstration, you don't really need to do that. But once they are attached like that, this will hang in front of you while you're hiking. So you can easily unzip the top and pull your camera out. Now, uh, this will work for some people. One of the disadvantages of this is if you are looking down at the ground because you're trying to carefully place your feet, perhaps you're scrambling over some rocks, this does get in the way of the vision of your feet. So if you're doing something technical, this isn't the best way to carry it. But if you're just walking through fairly even ground, then this is a nice way to have quick access to your camera. Now, if you want to take the backpack off, all you do is just spring this open like that. So this bit here stays on the bag all of the time. Uh, if you want to take your backpack off, you just need to undo one of those. Then you can kind of push this aside and undo your camera bag just as you regularly would. And then at the end of the day, you can pop the second one off and just remove the top loader entirely and leave those attached to the bag for another day. So that's one way of doing this. Let's take a look at the next one. Right, the third way that you can mount this top loader on your bag is to use the hip belt of your backpack. Now you can do this with most backpacks, but the Shimoda backpacks have a specific advantage. They're slightly thinner at this point than they are here, and they also have this gap in them. This is an Action X70, which allows you to squeeze the base of the hip belt together a little bit, and you'll see why that's useful in a second. So let's just get this threaded on here. We have um, a nice padded pass-through on the back of the top loader there. I'm gonna take the strap, feed it through. Now what you need to do is kind of pinch this together and pull it onto the hip belt like so. Now, this is where the advantage becomes clear because this is slightly thinner here than it is at the top. This now bulges outwards and it means that this is really kind of stuck pretty well onto the hip belt. Now, why is that important? Well, if you have a hip belt that is too loose, if you have a top loader style bag, some kind of other uh, top entry holster bag on a belt pack, uh, sorry, on the hip belt of a backpack, when you unstrap, when you stop walking and you unstrap your hip belt, as soon as you do this and this falls to the side, if this is too loose, then this camera bag would just fall to the ground. So that doesn't happen with the top loader on the Shimoda bags. There's enough resistance from this wider part here 
and the sizing of this entry. But this is this is really this is really on there. So you can take your backpack off without the worry of this top loader sliding off the hip belt. And I find that really useful. So we've seen three different ways uh, to carry this. You've got the shoulder strap, you've got the chest mount with the accessory straps, and you can put it on your hip belt. Of course, the fourth way is just to use this pass through here with any belt. You don't have to carry a backpack. You could just slide this onto any other belt that you have. And with all the D rings and nylon loops on this, you know, there's any number of ways that you could figure out to strap this to a bag using existing nylon straps that you might have lying around. So really versatile carry options with the top loader. Okay, you've seen all of the features and you've seen the different ways you can carry this bag. So we're pretty much wrapped up here. The top loader is $65 from the Shimoda website. They actually gave us a 10% discount for all of their products. So you can get 10% off this or any of their backpacks and other accessories by using the link in the description below. Make sure you take advantage of that. At $65, it's 10 or $15 more than some other options out there. But you know, with this one, you're paying for the durable materials, that rugged design. And I bought this a couple of years ago now. Shimoda didn't send me this. I bought this because I thought it looked great. And I've used it a lot, and yet the thing still looks brand new. So that really is a testament to the durability and ruggedness of this design. And I trust my camera gear in it. I mean, this is a $10,000 camera setup right here. Um, so I want to get something that's good. I'm happy to pay, you know, just a few bucks extra for something that I really trust my gear in. It has really good padding, uh, good rigidity, and weather resistance. As I said before, the only gripe that I had with this was the shoulder strap mounting point, which hangs it slightly awkwardly when it's on one shoulder. But I mostly use this strapped to one of my backpacks on the waist belt anyway, so I have quick access to a camera and a lens while I'm walking around. So that uh, doesn't really trouble me too much. And overall, yeah, I think this is another great product from Shimoda. All right, if you enjoyed that, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help us. And uh, hit the little bell as well to subscribe because we will have plenty more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.